JF-17 is recent development as compared to early F-16. When Pakistan stated this program with China their aim was to develop a aircraft as capable of F-16 that Pakistan was already operating. JF-17 meet those early requirements. This aircraft will replace the older soon to be retired aircrafts like Mirage I guess 3 and 5 and F-7P etc. Those planes are a go old and I guess JF-17 is a very good replacement for these specially. If Pakistan is assembling these aircraft, that means no reliance on foreign for maintenance and spare parts and with time Pakistan has the option to upgrade it according to its own needs which is not an option with aircraft they buy. Like Inada is buying 37 Rafale from France, they may operate this aircraft but cannot upgrade it. So I guess JF-17 is a good path for Pakistan for self-reliance. This will allow Pakistan to buy more advanced aircraft in few numbers to enhance its capabilities. As far as the question is concerned I guess the objectives of this plane is to match early F-16 capabilities and replace outdated aircrafts like Mirages from Pakistan Air Force. Well it depends what you have on each of the jet. A JF-17 Block 3 could be better because it may employ helmet mounted system better radar, iced and extended range, but it would be as good as the F-16C slash D Block 60. These are vipers waiting to sting and it could hurt the JF-17 in air combat. The JF-17 is nearly as good as some models of the F-16 family like the Block 40 and 50 but that's all it is, nearly as good. There are still many areas that the JF-17 is still weak against the F-16. The JF-17 is still in its infancy and has a lot of growth potential. So one day it will reach to the point that it could be better than an F-16 in many areas.